Morgo versus Thrall. Okay. I think I should keep Thrall, right? If I keep Thrall, I can't keep these cards. I think it's just too slow. Like, I, I think I either keep the Famished Fool or I keep Thrall. Thrall's more fun. That's a pretty nice curve, though. Hopefully get a bunch of totems stuck on the board and Thrall. Oh, like, even better. I think the um the spell totem's back at this point, right? <laughs> the luck is at the bottom of the glass. Not quite there yet. Oh. I think this is actually a great card. I think it's the only neutral weapon still. Unless I'm remembering wrong. But I don't know, I think this card's kind of underrated. I've thrown it in a bunch of like random wild decks, and it's always pretty nice. Obviously in like a slower deck, you know, either like a combo deck or a control deck. So <clears throat> I'm not going to swing at the weapon here because I want to play the frog next turn. And just in case he doesn't play anything, I don't, I can't trade. I actually got a little hat too. Couldn't get it to sit good with my headset though. So we, this is a two drop, oh, one drop. All right. So if he doesn't wipe the board here, this board is just crazy <laughs> for Thrall next turn. Like don't lightning storm, please. No board wipe. These will be six drops. These will be five drops. Here we go. Um, trade a bit. Here we go. Do we have the luck of the Irish? Uh, yeah, I'll take it. That's a great death rattle. That's a great death rattle. Got lifesteal. I don't know if I have any death rattle minions. That's a crazy frenzy. <laughs> and that's, wow. Okay. <laughs> I would, <laughs> you probably read all the cards the same time as me, just like, I'm out. Like, and there's a lot, of, there's a lot of different ways they can nerf him too, right? Not even just counting like a, a mana increase. Um, like making it so it like, it, if his um, board clear triggered death rattles, that would help. Um, not getting rid of like locations or Sargeras portal. But I think it's one of like the most frustrating cards to play against for sure. Leads to a lot of feel bad, feels bad moments. And it's so easy, like hard draw nowadays is so prevalent. You can run Reno in some decks that aren't even Highlander but they just draw so many cards and draw them so quickly that by the time they need to play um, Reno, there's no duplicates left in their deck. You know, I've seen some suggestions online saying like, if your deck um, started with no duplicates, that it triggers, which that could possibly work. Because as I said, a lot of decks play it that aren't even Highlander, just because they can draw so well. Let's hold off here. Next turn, drop Baroness and evolve her. That is true. I think, yeah, I think they'll just, there, you know, especially with the Whizbang releasing, there's so many changes, right? Because not only is, you know, do we have sets rotating out, we have the core set changes. Um, I don't think there'll be any radical like nerfs or changes this expansion, but. By the time we get to the next expansion, if like Reno or some other cards are still super prevalent or super strong, I could see some kind of change by that point. Oh. 
Oh, good, good old Gurubashi Berserker. But yeah, I think that is part of the problem. Is like I said, so many like Druid decks or um, even like Warrior now or some other classes can draw through their decks so quickly, you could just throw Reno in as just, you know, and a, and a decent amount of the time, but by the time you need to play it, like, you know, you either have no duplicates in your deck or maybe like one or two. So it's very easy to just throw it into almost any deck, any slower deck. It's a bit of an awkward turn because I can't follow up the doppelganger with anything. Just trade in Primordial Wave. Old cube. Oh, that's nice. What is this? I've never seen this card in my life. That's nice if it lives, though. Oh, I am so glad Astalor is rotating out. I think it was such a mistake printing such a strong win condition in at neutral. Like, the fact that you can put it into almost any deck, and it also got really abused with Bran and, you know, some other effects. I cannot wait for Astalor to rotate out. Like, any card that is just so universally strong that you could just throw it into any deck, I think shouldn't exist. Because when, when Astalor was in standard, almost every deck just started at 29 cards. Like, you just added Astalor in every single deck, right? And I, I just don't think that's healthy for the game. Could school teacher Naga evolve? Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? This would be nice if it wasn't this turn. This is kind of okay. This is okay. Discover another card. Pick me, pick me. That's fun. Um, what will we evolve you two of them? Um, this guy. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and I I agree that I think Aslore in concept was really neat. Um, you know, uh, it's kind of the same reason I've talked in the past about like spell stones and um, like any kind of card you can kind of like rank up and like increase as the game goes on, I think is cool. You know, because you have that choice of playing it, you know, earlier in the game where it's weaker or holding it till later in the game where it's stronger. I like those kinds of choices. But uh, he was overtuned, as you mentioned. Yeah, doubling Astalor, discovering it, always felt bad. It's interesting how this is just like a persistent effect. This isn't a battle cry. Usually you see effects like this as a battle cry. I don't think how I trade here matters much because there's so many taunts. So... Oh, this isn't infused. I just want to evolve. It's one off lethal. That's kind of cool. Um, what do I want to get rid of here? Four drop. Four drop. I know one suggestion I've seen for kind of like balancing Astalor was the eight mana version. It should have just been a Mana Thirst instead of a Battle Cry. So it could have been like Mana Thirst 8, um, deal 7 damage, and then Mana Thirst 10, deal 14 damage. So then you couldn't abuse it with Bran. I think that would have helped a lot. Because a lot of the issues with um, Bran, or sorry, yeah, a lot of the issues with like Bran and Aslor, I guess, was the fact that they, you know, went together and Druid would just abuse it. Um... Something with charge. Oh. <laughs> Do I evolve that? What are the odds I can't deal one damage in three turns? Uh, like, I can evolve it, but is that fun? I'll just leave it. 
Oh yeah, Shutter Walk. Um, yeah, there, there's just too many ways to like abuse battle cries, right? So if they changed Astalor to the Mana Thirst, like I mentioned, I think that would have helped the card a lot. And, and yeah, you mentioned Pyros. Yeah, it Astalor really shows you how garbage Pyros was. I want you and you and you. I believe he went face. Doppelganger, Primordial Wave. I'm not gonna trade. Uh, oh! Look at that. Cheers. 